Hi guys, nice to see you on my channel again. I'm Andrew Zeleno, professional audio engineer, mixer, producer with more than 10 years of experience. I was working for the biggest broadcasting company in my region. I got classification the top rank audio engineer. In my former country there is some rating. So uh, I got uh, first class status. Last five years I have been teaching audio engineering, mixing. So I have this unique course. You can check the description box. You will check a couple of videos on my course. You will see the examples. It's pretty cool because you can see how it works. I'm gonna show you a couple of theoretical type of classes. What is really unique on my course, uh, I'm working exactly on your projects. And we always compare your projects with the best sounding songs ever made, for example, by top 20 audio engineers. So we compare and we bring your mixes to the same level. And this course is really long, you know, like nine months. And uh, if it doesn't work, you will see it instantly. But for example, right now I don't even have seats. It just proves it works really well, students really like this course. If you will be interested in this course, send me an email and we can book a seat for you for the next groups. New groups will start pretty soon, so you can book a seat for yourself. This course is really affordable, it's in the Skype and it's really game changer. Believe me, you will save like 10 years. I guarantee if you will be pretty good student, you will be doing what I'm saying to do. Definitely, you really can be a professional audio engineer after nine months of this course. Right now, by the way, I'm living in Canada. It can be pretty flexible schedule. So video basically is about how to invest in your recording studio. The main problem, uh, audio industry is really cheating thing. A lot of commercials, a lot of bullshit, a lot of lie in this industry. They tell you something, uh, you buy it and it doesn't work for you. Definitely really, really difficult sometimes, especially if you are a beginner. And by beginner I don't mean like you started to work with the audio, with music like a couple of months ago. I mean even like two, three years you still feel yourself like a beginner because audio engineering kind of takes really a lot of years to, to make you a professional. First thing what I want to say, I was like you, you know, I was uh, kind of struggling with equipment, uh, deciding what I need for my studio, uh, if it should be something pretty expensive or it can be something digital emulations instead of like analog stuff or you really should invest in your monitoring more or you should invest in your equipment, maybe analog processors like EQs, compressors, definitely it's just a really big process and you do just enormous amount of mistake, probably you can agree with me, right? You should buy something, then you have to sell something because it doesn't work for you. It's really long path and you all the time you learn something making mistakes. Instead, uh, what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna offer you some ideas and believe me, it's so helpful and if you will be pretty patient and you've managed to finish watching this video to the end, <laughs> uh, definitely it kind of will give you some fundamental ideas and really will help you kind of not to make so many mistakes during your, let's say, audio life, right? Kind of when you spend your life working with audio, with music, with sound. Why I believe I can help you in this way? Because I already made this path. I spent like 15 years making all these mistakes, working in audio industry in different uh, fields like broadcasting, recording, mixing. Right now in Canada, I'm a part-time mastering engineer, for example. So definitely have some experience to say where you really can do something. Also, I'm gonna show you a couple of examples based on audio we're gonna mix something i'm gonna show you some examples we even gonna count some some prices also what my students on my course said it really saves just huge amount of time you know just because of uh, what i say is one thing probably you kind of uh, skeptical a little bit so right now it's the fifth year of my teaching right now i'm working more with english speaking students right now i have 18 english speaking students and some of their reviews on my course let's not waste time kind of reading everything i'm just gonna specify something so paul Patterson from Australia. 
So he previously studied audio engineering, he attended one school and it was like $14,000. I wished I had found Andrew before I spent so much money. I took Andrew course because my mixes continued to suck and I watched one of his online videos on compression and it really helped me. Also, by the way, this video in the description box, let's check it, it can be possible to see what Paul has seen, you know. So it's great. Also, the price of the course is so reasonable that I had nothing to lose. We're at the halfway point of the course now, and not only my mix is better, but my whole approach changed for the better also. I highly recommend this course if you are serious about getting better mixes. Also, the same you do when you buy equipment. So my point is, uh, I can save time and money for you when you attend my course. You should have pretty a lot of a lot of experience working in audio industry or working at home studio at least kind of to really realize if you need something or something wrong you bought and you need to sell it and you should buy something else and all this stuff so it takes really long time of course you can go to a store you can ask a seller something like suggest something for me you know why it's almost impossible to get right answers first of all because of those guys who sell equipment there can be pretty experienced actually but just ask yourself how many of them do really top sounding mixes like professional mixing engineers or recording engineers how many of them really record uh, sound on that level definitely they can do pretty good level you know but uh, when you buy something when you spend just huge amount of money probably it's so important to be so confident that you spend hard-earned money on something really useful, really working for you. So it's super important to understand all the suggestions, uh, if even they're kind of honest. They have pretty lack of experience to say something really important for you, you know, what you really need to buy. Uh, let's imagine another situation. This seller, or, you know, it can be even not a seller, it can be some other audio engineer, really professional audio engineer, and you just ask a suggestion, what I need, suggest me something, what kind of audio interface I need, or, or what kind of monitors I need, you know, what kind of libraries I need to buy, or what kind of plugins I need to use. Every person is different. Everybody does mixing, everybody does recording in absolutely different ways. And those things that work for them could be not working for you probably it's obvious, right? Second thing, just understand, uh, those guys are not interested in your progress because uh, you have nothing to do with them. Uh, you know, uh, when we spent nine months together on our course, what really unique in our course, as I said before, uh, we check your homeworks all the time. I give you homeworks and I check them in real time. I don't show you some previously mixed projects because it's really easy. I could spent like three months on mixing this song finally i managed to make it sound great and then i show you plugins like everybody do on the internet and you see this project and you say ah this is how it was mixed great but when you go with your mixes and you try to apply the same kind of settings the same plugins it doesn't work that great you really know that definitely so uh, this is what really important that we work together exactly on your mixes and not only just you know like let's check what you did I do it online, I don't prepare myself to check your mixes because I see your mixes kind of for the first time during lesson in real time. So it's absolutely amazing because I really show you how to think, how to understand every moment because I also struggling to understand how to make it, you know, in what way we should go in every moment, in every homework, uh, in every situation. What I really teach you, I teach you to make decisions in real time. If I'm struggling right now, I show you how to find a way, how to make it, you know. So this is what's really dangerous for every teacher in the world to show because typically, for example, you don't know what to do. So I put myself in this dangerous situation and I always find the way how to do it just because of I am a professional audio engineer. So that's why we always can find uh, a way. And in this way you really see why something didn't work for you. Maybe it wasn't an equipment. Maybe you did something wrong with your equalizers or with your compressors or you didn't realize something. Or sometimes you know it's not about mixing. Sometimes it's definitely about recording. This is what really helps you to understand if you really need to buy something else or not. So the same you can do uh, in your situation. 
even if you don't attend my course, just ask yourself, okay, I do this project. I really don't know how to manage it. For some reason, it doesn't work for me. And try to find if it's mixing or if it's recording. If it's recording, why it doesn't sound properly. Maybe it's a wrong preamplifier. Maybe it's a converter. So again, if uh, you're asking some questions from guys who are really professional audio engineers, mixers, top, top, top level. Just imagine you're asking, for example, Andy Wallace. Andy, for some reason you have a contact of Andy and you ask Andy, tell me how to do it. Do you think Andy is really interested to check your mixes, you know, to kind of help you with mixing, to spend like a year working on your songs, on your projects? No. That's why maybe you will get some like answer, but it's gonna be like not something certain, not based on your projects. During our course we check your projects, your certain projects, your sound, and we even comparing it with top level mixes and that's why you really realize and see the progress and you start to understand why you need this and you need this sometimes people say okay if i need to buy it and i typically during my course i say wait a second don't spend your money so this is first important suggestion for you don't be in a hurry spend some time do some 100 mixes do 10 mixes at least uh, for example, if you're right now deciding on what kind of preamplifier you need, don't just watch some videos, comparisons on YouTube. Try to mix your recordings with your preamplifier. Probably you can have right now audio interface and you want to buy something like external preamp, right? Like I have over here SSL Super Analog One. So, for example, before you buy something, you should realize what your preamplifier can do. What is the problem in this preamplifier? Maybe it's too dark. You know, my preamplifier in my audio interface was sounding like washed out sound, you know, like without certain shape. Uh, everything was sounding like washed out. Too dark. It's not certain, not focused in the mix. That's why I needed something like pretty certain, pretty kind of solid and uh, shape sounding. This is why I bought this pretty clean and pretty bright and certain preamplifier, which gives you not maybe so much coloration, but some certain boundary. So for this type, I use this preamp. I have two preamplifier if I need something fatter, warmer and all this stuff. So I already checked. I did it million times with some equipment. I really understand why I need something specific when I buy something next time. Also, you should understand if you ask something from other guys, uh, you should understand they work with some specific genres. They have their own vision. So what they gonna suggest you is based on their mixes, on their vision, on their experience. They will not gonna check your experience, your projects, your sound. During our course, this is what we do. We concentrating on your music. That's why I really can suggest you what you need. So this is the difference. Okay, I'm gonna give you some pretty low-level example. It's like example for beginners. There is nothing wrong if you are a beginner, you know, but uh, typically uh, there is some questions like really not that reasonable to ask. For example, suggest me some audio interface. You know, uh, if you work on EDM mixing, for example, more important to have something like output converters, really certain and good translating your sound from DAW to your monitors. It should have opportunity to kind of handle a lot of plugins at the same time. So it's gonna be one type of audio interface for you. But at the same time, if you record something, you know, and uh, you only do, for example, hip-hop vocals, or you just record acoustic guitar and a vocal. In this case, it can be another audio interface and you concentrate in more on really good preamplifiers. Uh, at the same time, if you record acoustic drum kit, for acoustic drum kit, you need to have a lot of inputs. So how you can ask what is the best audio interface? So first counting I offer you, for example, let's say you started to work with audio like one year ago. You watched a lot of different videos, so you don't know what you need. My course uh, has different uh, type of students. It can be half professional, even professionals, but uh, kind of they still cannot achieve top sounding level songs or it can be totally beginner. So sometimes they say, suggest me what kind of MIDI keyboard I need. Suggest me what kind of DAW controller I need. What kind of monitors I need. What kind of preamp I need. And I say, wait a second. Let's work 
with what you have, let's make some songs based on your equipment. Let's figure out what you can achieve with your equipment, how it sounds. So we don't play in the kind of a abstractive game like what I need. No, we exactly check how it sounds and only then you can do your own decision what exactly you need to buy to improve your sound. So this is approach I really like because I gonna save just huge amount of money. Just let's count. Pair of monitors, $1,000. MIDI keyboard, uh, $500. Preamplifier, $1,500. $3,000 already. Audio interface. You buy unreasonable audio interface and uh, it can be not so suitable, for example, for your purposes. So it's $4,500. You're gonna buy some plugins you really don't know. Some sellers who really can promote their plugins, like Steven Slate. Nothing wrong with Steven Slate plugins, but Steven Slate is really known like salesman, you know, he looking at you with this kind of eyes and he tells you, my plugins are real analog. And everybody says, wow, really? Steven Slate's plugins, real analog. <laughs> I like Steven Slate plugins, is one of my top five, definitely. But actually, honestly speaking, I compared a lot of his plugins against analog. It's it's really good working plugins, but it's not exactly the same like analog. You're gonna buy this one, this one, like universal audio plugins, whole bundle, like $4,000, because somebody told you that every other plugin is bullshit and only these plugins are amazingly kind of totally sounding like analog. And you buy it, so it's like $10,000 already, right? And you go further, libraries, DAW, you know, uh, what kind of libraries I need to buy to write music. You buy something you really don't know. You buy something and then you kind of disappointed in it. Instead, what we're gonna do during our course, I'm gonna show you thousand libraries. I'm gonna show you all plugins uh, and we even gonna compare those plugins with each other. I'm gonna tell you all historical models of every type of equalizer, compressor and all emulations based on this type of equalizer. And we even gonna compare. I even gonna give you homeworks with these equalizers and compressors and you gonna check what really works for you in that situation and this situation and after a while you really will have your own opinion. I even don't push you to have some certain opinion like mine because I believe every person can have different opinion but definitely even having different opinion you can have your own style of mixing. So on my course, what I really feel is really valuable, I form your own opinion. I don't get my opinion and kind of put on you. You know, not like that. I kind of lead you to create your own opinion. So this is really valuable. So going back to situation when you ask some seller in the store what you need to buy, they have actually, honestly speaking, they have a goal to sell something to you, right? I don't have this goal. I really don't sell equipment. So we honestly gonna check all type of equipment, all type of uh, acoustic panels, all type of monitors. I really honestly gonna give you ideas on what kind of equipment you really need. In this case, you're gonna save like thousands of dollars. Instead of buying all this equipment, I'm gonna give you an idea that something is really wrong for you or something you really don't need to buy with no bullshit, you know, this is like this, this is like this, nothing more. By the way, a lot of students emphasize that moment that my course doesn't have bullshit. For example, my name is Ivan, Ivan from the UK, by the way. Ivan says, this guy is not bullshitting. Don't try to, you know, to play in the game kind of like people say, okay, it's really controversial. In the mix, you never will hear the difference like people say. Hassan says, for example, the most professional course I ever found. I even feel myself a little bit wrong in this way because I really want to cover this topic, but at the same time, I say all the time that course is great but the course is great. You can attend not even my uh, audio course, you can go to some specific production school, but be sure it's really professional and really based on practice, because uh, typically it's like theoretical parts, they say it works like this, it works like this, and then they say, okay, it's finished, go outside and uh, do what you can do. It's wrong, because we really concentrating on your projects. For example, Thomas, it's real Skype, real student, see? I will do review tomorrow, it's no problem, because your course helping me like nobody before. I would like to take the course again and again, until I'm very good at it. 
If you let me. <laughs> right now, let me show you an example how there can be three different type of people who consider their knowledge, their equipment, and how they invest money. So, three type of investors. For example, it's a guy with 10 years of experience. Definitely, he already managed to buy a lot of different average, maybe top sounding equipment, but there is no guarantee it really helps him to manage really top sounding products. So, equipment. And definitely, this guy already has some knowledge. It's impossible to be absolutely nothing after 10 years. But for some reason, it's not enough for him. He just doesn't get to the same level like uh, top 20 audio engineers. It's, uh, of course, controversial if you really should be in top 20 audio engineers because it's based more on if you work for major label or not and all this stuff. But anyway, to be in the same, let's say, quality spot, to be on the same level like top 20 audio engineers or really close to it, they ask to attend my course, they attend my course and they have A plus or, or A minus type of sound. So they're really happy and I'm gonna prove it, I'm gonna show you all their reviews pretty soon. Second version of a guy, let's say, has two years of experience, he doesn't have equipment or at least just kind of starting equipment, definitely not everything he wanted to have, right? So it's no equipment. He has some knowledge and I was like that actually, you know, uh, the more I know, the more I understand I don't know a lot. The less I knew, the more I thought I know everything. <laughs> It's always like this. So the less you know, the more you think you know everything. We are gonna put knowledge in quotes in this case. It's not enough kind of knowledge after two years to be like on the same level like Chris Lord LG, for example, right? And in this case people say, okay, I already knew everything because they have knowledge. And they say, what you can offer me? And I can say, okay, we're gonna cover all the same, all these parts of audio engineering, very deep knowledge. And they say, okay, I don't need it because I kind of uh, have already knowledge and I have no equipment. So maybe it's just because of I don't have enough equipment. By equipment, I mean everything. Preamps, plugins, monitors right setup room. So in this case they don't attend my course and they gonna spend next 10 years, next 10 years, collecting some equipment, right? So they gonna spend a lot of X dollars. It's possible to achieve some level, but it's gonna be a lot of money and a lot of years. And it's even possible to not achieve top level. So they can, in the final, they can be like C minus, C, maybe C plus type of mixes. Look what's going on here. And after these years, they start to be the first type. So they go over here. And again, 10 years equipment knowledge, because they already have some knowledge after 10 years. But they still don't have top level mixes. They attend some school and finally they have A+. Of course it can be different. I don't mean it's only the way to attend school definitely you can train yourself definitely you can be super talented audio engineer you can be not sleeping like me like 10 15 years in a row kind of comparing comparing you like crazy you know i'm really crazy guy i just live in sound in the world of audio that's why i trained my ears if you're ready for this if you want to spend like thirty thousand dollars like i did on equipment that even didn't work for me and you want to spend 10 years for it why not <laughs> I'm just offering you easier way, so it's up to you. And third type of guy, it's like two years of experience, no equipment, knowledge in quotes, plus my course. In the final you have A+, plus, A, A-, minus, but a lot of savings, like time and money. Savings over here. So I believe the green way is the best one. It can be great school, always consider it should be pretty affordable because uh, if it's super expensive, it can be a big risk for you, first thing. Second thing, it should be from a professional audio engineer. It should be really advanced level. It should be based on your projects and your practicing. Typically, I haven't met schools like that. I offer all these four nuances in my course. That's why I just offer it for you. You know, guys, honestly speaking, during the whole of this video, I'm trying to avoid direct promotion of my course, you know, because I understand if you see in this video like some advertisement, you can say, okay, it's just like an uh, ad. So I dislike it and that's it. Let's be honest, if I have something really valuable to offer, why not? Right? 
Anyway, I hope even if you're not gonna attend this course, at least I hope this video kind of give you an ideas about how sometimes audio industry can cheat on you, you know, they can lead you in the wrong direction and it happens all the time. So you spend your time, your money and you will get nothing in the final. So it's absolutely amazingly wrong, I believe. That's why you should consider all these little nuance. Also, sometimes people say, okay, I'm gonna buy something, I'm gonna buy a new instrument or new preamplifier because what I get from this instrument really doesn't sound properly. And sometimes, you know, sometimes it's about mixing. Typically, people say it's about recording because sometimes whatever you do, it doesn't work. And you say definitely something wrong with recording. But right now, I'm gonna show you an example when mixing really matters because mixing can lead you in the wrong way in terms of recording. Just because of wrong mixing you can decide to buy something else because you will believe it doesn't work for you because of recording. But it was a mistake in mixing. That's it.